Hey everyone, Irit here with a new process video for my art journal. So this is actually the second, I want to say, the second <laughs> layout I created in this uh, art journal. And don't worry, I will post links to everything below, uh, including this book that I used to um, sketch these girls. So I just used carbon paper and... I chose some images from the book. It's about uh, fashion poses and it also gives some great tips for painting different types of fabrics. So what I'm doing here, the theme of this page um, are my outfits. The theme is my outfits are the theme, whatever, <laughs> for creativation. So we were there for three days and I had picked an outfit. I flew just with a carry-on suitcase for a week and like a tiny, tiny suitcase because I was, I had very short connections, including a very short, well, a relatively short connection in Chicago where I knew I was going to go through immigration and they uh, kind of check your bags. Well, not always. Actually, this time they didn't uh, check my bag. But, you know, these huge lines and I was worried that I'm not going to catch my flight, which, you know, it's I kind of arrived at the gate when they started boarding. So I'm thinking it was a good decision, meaning all this to say that I had to give a lot of thought to what I was taking, because basically I took just outfits for those three days and then nothing else. <laughs> and... Uh, I wanted to look cute because I knew we would be taking lots of photos. So I hired my stylist. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> I have a very good friend here <laughs> in Austria and she has a really, really beautiful style. So um, we went shopping, which actually turned out like I did get, uh, I found a beautiful dress uh, with her. Anyway, let's talk about the sketching. Okay, um, so... Yes, I have a very high opinion of myself that I look like <laughs> this model, which is two meters tall. Um, no, I just thought it was like an easy solution and a fun uh, take on this to use these kind of fashion model sketches. And yeah, this was just like a really, really fast way of doing that. So I just used the book as my template for their pose and, you know, like general figure lines and proportions. And then I sketched the clothes myself. Um, also using some reference, I didn't use um, the paper, like I didn't, again, use carbon paper. I just sketched it freehand, but I did, um, um, I, I did use the book as a reference for the, mostly the jeans, I think, because... I thought I could use some help there. So I wore these high jeans for two days with like different shirts. And then I had this beautiful dress that was kind of sheer with, I mean, the top um, layer was sheer. And then I had something underneath <laughs> and it had kind of like an animal print to it. So I also used the book for that because it has, um, you know, sections about sheer fabrics and then also about uh, animal prints. So it was really, really helpful. And I think it's a great book if you're interested in that. Um, I'm not like heavily into fashion sketching or anything, but I thought it, it was a nice book um, with like a good reference for kind of body poses and uh, different clothes and that sort of thing. So this was really fun. The watercolors that I'm using, that's my custom palette. I always get questions about it. So I will link you below to the video showing you exactly which colors are in that palette. And um, yeah, you know, when it comes to sketching things that are real, <laughs> like, you know, real clothes and I don't know, trying to get these uh, women to have kind of hair that resembles mine as in not pink or turquoise like I like to make so I have to um, mix my own colors because you can see my color palette is 
kind of rainbows with no uh, neutrals. So I really enjoy it. And I actually have a separate uh, smaller palette for neutral colors, but I really like mixing my own colors. It's always fun. And yes, that one girl on the right, she looks a bit, you know, like these little monkeys that have those red faces um, and red tushies. <laughs> so <laughs> I had that. Her face is very small and my pink blob that I wanted to give her a blush kind of took over. But, you know, I'm going with the flow. So the one thing you really, really need to pay attention I think when you're sketching everything, especially if it's like this very super loose style, is the um, shadows and layers because that gives you depth. So you want to put your initial uh, color, let it dry, and then go back and add some more um, just shadows and details to give it depth and interest. You can see I'm adding now uh, some details to my dress and I let the first layer completely dry and then I really used the help of that book to um, create that animal print or a suggestion of it. It doesn't have to be, for me, it didn't have to be exactly um, real. And I'm also adding the dress has these kind of red and silver cuffs at the edge of the sleeves. So I thought that would be a fun detail to add. And yeah, this was actually surprisingly easy to make. I thought it would be a little bit harder, but it all worked out pretty nicely. So I'll also... Um, write you in the description uh, box the brushes that I'm using. This one is actually like a travel brush from Jackson's. That's where I get all my art supplies from Jackson's. They're just fantastic and they have such a great um, uh, stock of things, including their own uh, brushes, which by the way, I have a couple on their way to me that I'm excited to try and I will show you when I get them. Uh, I picked up also a couple of things from there. So anyway, I didn't really know, like I wanted to turn this into a complete layout, you know? I mean, I have these three figures here. I wrote day one, day two, day three, and I didn't really know what I was going to do. So sorry, this is a little bit off camera. And this was probably, I would call this, a failed attempt. What I wanted to do was sketch um, kind of a little pile of my clothes folded as they were absolutely folded super neatly in my uh, suitcase. <laughs> I'm very, very organized and neat person, not. So that was what I was trying to do and I didn't really love the way that it looked. So I'm going to enhance it with some stamping and hopefully you'll see that always splatters are one of my kind of crutches that I lean on. I'm terribly sorry that this is out of frame, but um, I promise you that you will see what I'm doing soon and you won't be impressed. <laughs> so <laughs> splatters, when in doubt, use splatters. Splatters to me are a way to, first of all, they add this detail without having to actually do anything so they add color and they kind of fill weird areas that you you're not sure how to fill them add some splatters so here I am again adding some more details to my dress uh, once those previous details dried so it doesn't mix together I want to get that um, I want that differentiation between the different layers. And as I add more, I go in with deeper colors to create a bit of contrast as well. So I thought they were looking a little bit stark there and I decided to add some background and I had some pink in my palette. So I went with pink just to add a little bit something, a little bit color. There's a lot of white space in this uh, page and I do like it. I think this journal will definitely have more white space than my usual. 
style and it's nice to mix it up. I like it. But I'm just adding just a little bit of pink going around them and yeah, I actually, you know, I have to tell you, I'm not a huge fan of small brushes. I really, really prefer to work with kind of the biggest brush I can get away with. Um, so this, like looking at this, I'm like, wow, I'm working way too hard at spreading that color and mixing it when if only I'd grabbed a bigger brush, um, this would have been so much easier. But yeah, so here you can see what happened on the left side. Yes, um, I don't know if it is even understandable, but I'm okay. It kind of, um, if you know, a few things here. Okay, so first of all, for me, a journal is really the sum of its parts. And I really feel that when you look through everything, um, it, it makes me happy and I don't really focus on the mess ups. So I'm just happy when I have like a full journal that brings me joy. And also I am using some techniques here, <laughs> some go-to uh, problem troubleshooting techniques. So adding some stamping, title, writing, journaling, splatters, and some cute stamped images that helps bring everything together and kind of not really hopefully when you look at this you know you look at the girls or the women and you don't really look at those folded clothes <laughs> or you think they're just I don't know a bit of color they kind of bring both pages together because they have uh, the colors from the right side also on the left side and I added some pink splatters so everything would be unified and it would work as kind of a complete layout and not just two separate sketches on you know opposite pages so yeah don't forget to add some shadows it kind of gives more context to the whole thing and you don't have things floating around and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found this inspiring. You can definitely do something similar with your current favorite outfits, your kids' favorite outfits, um, something you took on a trip or an event. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. So I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.